Does anyone else's workbench table start to look like this? Is it just me? I got this big saw here. It just seems to be in the way. So I gotta make a quick little miter table or something just to get it out of the way. I had some of this kind of leftover wood. I'm thinking someone made a sign with it, kind of looking like rustic y, just kind of rough uh, pallet type wood. They gave it to me to, hey, it's good wood, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I'm not making anything fancy. I'm just going to make something just to hold it. I might probably put some casters on it so I could roll it because it's kind of heavy, but for now, my little shop, I don't need anything crazy. I went ahead and measured the width here just to give me an idea of kind of how far I want to go apart. Um, height wise will come into later. I'm going to match this bench so that if I need to rest a long piece on there the top of this top of the saw Will actually line up with that so that way I can have an, a long extension table First thing I did was lay out what I had. I was thinking two by fours. I had this wood So I figured we'll go with this make the frame out of I have a two by four there Came out to be 27 and a half inches just about which is plenty deep for the base of this I'll first start by cutting each board 30 inches simple frame um, with two by fours and just screw them to the top and I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a frame around and then one in the middle just to give it extra support to screw those boards down so because it's kind of heavy so make sure it's nice and tough so we'll go ahead and uh, take care of that <laughs> got our wood cut out let's go ahead and set up the frame so I'm going to set the top pieces to the side for now and this will make sense hopefully now when you take a look of how I cut it so these are 30 inches and these are 24 and a half 24 and a half because we're going to put them on the inside so the thickness of the two by fours on these ones will make up the other inch you know a few extra inches you're missing so I'm gonna do it something like this and I'm gonna find the center here in a second but just like that and then we'll stack the other ones on top definitely not going for awards of the prettiest um, and I'm sure we've all been there where boards just aren't straight but as you can see just went ahead countersunk these three inch screws and we have ourselves a little base now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the top on um, this side seems to be the most flush because we kind of had some warping on our two by fours uh, that's just the state of wood these days, I feel like. But we'll just square it up the best we can. And I'm just going to screw these down too. Um, just because they don't, uh, they don't need to be nice.
since we centered that board, we know at 15 inches where we can run our line of screws here. A little bit of a wardrobe change, as I'm sure some of my other uh, tradespeople out there will know. Sometimes you gotta break off a project at home and take care of business. So we're gonna jump back in. My next step is going to be cutting the four by fours. Um, if you're not going to put anything on the bottom and just set it, have it stationary, uh, you can just go ahead and measure your thickness of your top to the floor to whatever height you want. Uh, but I'm going to use locking casters to help with this and move it around. That way I can get it out of the way and I can still lock it in place to you know, make sure it's secure when we're cutting stuff. I went ahead and saved you all the boring parts of measuring and came up with that each leg needs to be 30 and a quarter long uh, to get me at the right height. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut up. Now that we got all of our legs cut, I'm gonna mount them super simple. I'm just gonna screw them in. So I'm gonna flip this over. Just put one in each corner, three inch screws on each side, and that's it. got the legs mounted and they're going to be plenty sturdy. I know some people are going to probably ask why one on each side or one on this side? I have screws right here going into this board here and I didn't want to hit one so I just did in between. I have two on the other side to match it so three screws holding this thing should be plenty and if you really want to we could put a brace across down here to hold the weight. Um, I think it's going to be plenty sturdy. We'll find out when we put the saw on it. Uh, for, but now let's go ahead and we're going to get the casters mounted. For this, some people might want to try to mount in the middle for the most meat. But because it's got a lock on it and I want to make sure I get my foot on there real good, I'm going to move it over towards one of the edges. Um, to keep it uniform, I think I'm going to go ahead and just keep two to the outside of each thing towards one way um, but this way I'll make sure I have plenty of room here I'm gonna give myself like a quarter or about an eighth of an inch just to make sure I have enough to make sure I can put the lock on otherwise I feel like if you have boots on you might not be able to get that for this I'm just gonna use the standard hardware that came with it Now I got one mounted, go ahead and I'm just going to repeat the step and uh, get the other ones. Alright, we're all set. Now the moment of truth, we got to flip this thing. Alright, that is nice there. Now I can get this here, 
like that, like that. Pump it from moving. This way now, I can roll it out of the spot. So now, let's get the let's get the saw on it. One of the reasons I bought this saw was because you can push this flat up against the wall and this arm will never go backwards. So I can line this up with the back of this table here and push up against the wall and not have to worry about it You know, when I'm making compound cuts or miter cuts. Um, no matter what, this will be okay. So with that being said about the back, that's easy, you can line that up with the back of that. I'm just gonna center it side to side and then I'm just going to put some screws with some washers and just screw it right into the top. Um, should be plenty. Um, like I said, I'm not pulling on it. If I do see it's getting loose, I'll go ahead and put bolts on. So let's go ahead and get it centered up and screwed in. I got it all mounted on. It's been a couple weeks. I've used it a little bit here and there and everything seems to be holding up pretty good. Uh, the casters are working great. Uh, I've locked, you know, locks it in, but I can store it away, which is nice. But overall, pretty simple. Give you an idea. Obviously nothing fancy, but it holds it, gets the job done.